Hey guys, welcome to the 16th episode of The Ranking Show, where we have a lot, a lot to cover, so this one might run a little bit longer than most. Uh, first, we got to cover the results of EGLX, and if you haven't seen the tweet from Practical Tass, who's like the main guy behind uh, the rankings now that Tafo has kind of handed it off to him with the MPGR, Mewtwo King is going to be ranked. So it is no longer a will Mewtwo King ra be ranked, or if he stopped right now, when he would be ranked. Mewtwo King is going to be ranked. Uh, he can, like, Bowders can abstain from ranking people, but... I'm probably going to rank him, and I want to see today, the first thing we're going to start off with that lead story of being like, where do we put Mewtwo King and what's going on? Uh, that'll come within like this coverage of EGLX. I also want to go over DreamHack, where Zayn decimated Europe, Prof went on a crazy run, um, STJ kind of bustered out, and then also briefly touch on the uh, Texas Invitational, where we had a lot of top talent from the southern U.S. competing. Bananas won. Bananas really hasn't been to much. Wobbling was allowed, if you were curious of, on that. But a lot of interesting sets. Bobby Big Balls getting Albert Magi. Bobby Big Balls went on a run. So Robert maybe finally may make it in the top 100. But that's that's last in the dock today. Let's circle back to talking about Jason Zimmerman from Cinnamon Sid, New Jersey. So it's nice and convenient because we know everyone pretty much knows what Mewtwo King has done this year off the top of their head. Mewtwo King has his 33rd on Genesis. Can I do Mewtwo King's results off the top of my head? 33rd at Genesis, losing to Triffin Bananas. His best win there was Tafo. His second event was the Big House where he got... <sighs> oh, yeah, placings don't matter, so it doesn't matter what he placed. Uh, where he beat HBox and IBDW and lost to... Mango and why fiction? Mango and fiction, and then his second at EGLX, where he uh, beat HBox again. Why did I? Okay, I beat HBox again, uh, but then got double eliminated. Him. What am I? In? Fiction and Zane. Damn it! All right, all right, yeah, whatever, man. Zane, not Mango. Whatever. This is why I have the internet. This is why I have Twitch chat. Okay, guys, I get it. I'm I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I sound more jaded in my streams than my YouTube. What do you mean? I'm just more angry. I'm able to hold it back more in my YouTube videos because it's a script. But Twitch chat is wrong. Let me pull out the big house. The big house. No, I have too much in my search history. Since same one dream I can yeah, yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about everyone. I gotta retweet a video of myself. Oh, shout out to Moobot plugging the uh, plugging the Discord server. Mewtwo King is top 10. HBox, HBox wins are definitely really, really good. I just want to... I probably should... Realistically, if I wasn't an, an absolute donkey, I would have had all this pulled up before I started the stream. But, you know, I'm an absolute donkey. Um, so, all for Mewtwo King we have is EGLX, The Big House, and Genesis. I'm not going to pull up Genesis because I really don't know that off the top of my head. <laughs> Sorry for me, so No, it's it's good. No worries. I, I, it, it builds up my lack of thick skin. Mewtwo King wins HBox. Yeah, so Mewtwo King's wins are HBox, IBDW, Mike Hayes, Rick, um, and then HBox, none, HBox, none. This is a very deceptive, I mean, I, I, again, it's like very deceptive, big asterisk because beating HBox is really, really dope and almost losing to none. Man. Man, Mewtwo King winning this set probably if if Mewtwo, if people rank Mewtwo well I I don't think that many people are gonna abstain from it but this this winning this set gained Mewtwo King probably like five or ten ranks low key like if he loses to none uh well I guess he really didn't get much more after yeah I don't think it maybe like five ranks at most mm. none beating Mango is huge and say none is definitely someone who got a big jump for this time. he's probably one of the biggest winners so Mewtwo King. He, I believe he's probably somewhere, like, without, without like, going deep into it, he's probably somewhere in this 11 to 20 range. And maybe if we you give him more of the benefit of the doubt up there. But I think I'm going to be punishing him a little bit more for attendance. Um, for lack of attendance. None 12th. Yeah, and we, and again, guys, this is an update. This is still from the big house. And all the guys who were bolded were the ones who were competing this weekend. So later, after we do Mewtwo King, we're going to worry about uh, facing these guys. So... Let's actually go over to the head-to-head -head sheet. Who is most comparable to who? Who has HBox wins? Yeah, what's Cody? Is Cody? Is Cody have a better year than I guess we really can't do these side by side? Is Cody had a better year than Mewtwo King? He's 
much more attendant, m- attendant much more, um, has wins over HBox, um, yeah, HBox, Leffen, Mango, Amsa. Whereas, yeah, Cody's the best comparison point. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I think I, I, yeah, like off the bat, like I don't think I could see any universe where I put Mewtwo King above Cody. Like that just, that just doesn't seem right. He did lose their head there, yeah. He will be ranked. He's being ranked, yeah. For those who hasn't seen it. Yeah, the, the I, I keep on. I it was a smart call to keep this keep this tweet up for the the remainder of the show. Also, let me can I bright brighten myself up a little bit more? I just need better lighting, and I'm hoping that. Uh, no, I just it's the same thing. I always look like a ghost. Does the contrast up help? Contrast up helps a little bit. That's a little better. Don't think Cody is the best comparison. Two H box wins is really really good, but that's really. He's got an H-box, H- two H-box wins, a none win. And again, let's go over the big house. What else has he got? IBW. Yeah, he's, those H-box wins are really good with the bomb lighting. <laughs> I'm not Lizzo out here. No Minnesota Vikings up in this. Mm. Compare Mewtwo King with Plup. That's a that's an interesting point. Even though I guess I, I have Plup above. Yeah, that, it, it's an interesting point, but because Plop Pup has even for Plop has actually attended like Loki a lot and Pup has insanely good consistency. Like he's not he doesn't have Oh, official edu- ed educate Ted. Thank you for the tier 1 sub. Hit it with the save save W, my dude. Oh yeah. Oh, now I look how maybe maybe take down the 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 uh the contrast a little bit. Now I'm too bright. Save W is in the chat. There we go. That's probably better. Just put all the settings all the way up. None over. Oh no, I don't think Nuns jump that far. Nuns still has to. None. I compared him to this before, and I think it's very similar. Nuns still has to catch up. Oh, Ted, Ted, learning very quickly with the save Ws. Um, none still has that uh, bad early year to make up for. Like he can't. It was like I. Oh, I made the comparison before. Fiction of last year, where Fiction had a really bad last year, but was playing. Oh, it was playing really, really poorly. Um. You're thinking a you're thinking a wheat sheet, not wheat sheet. Yeah, but none for sure. The mango wind pushes him way up. But let's let's stay on Muta King. So three tournament attendance, it's not great. Yeah. So we we already said IBW. Um, even with S two J falling a little short recently, I don't think Muta King's above Fiction. Don't think he's above S or Moki is maybe where I'd I'd start to see the the cracks come through. So top wins comparing Moki to Mewtwo King. Um, Moki is the left win. Mewtwo King has two H box wins. How's Moki? Does Moki have an IBDW win? Does not have an IBDW win, but has an S fat, a Swedish. See, God, it, it's every time I go through one, another one of these players that compared to Mewtwo King, I'm just like they've been to like seven more events than him, and I feel gross about putting Mewtwo King above them. Yeah, Mewtwo King seems. Huh. Also, S to J's in top ten. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to go down that. It just it feels so gross ranking Mewtwo King, just as a concept. Because I'm like, he didn't show up all year. Why should I put him above all these guys who grinded all year? It really sucks that someone someone's gonna get screwed over by a rank or two just because Mewtwo King, Mewtwo King ascended. Yeah. Yeah, Mewtwo King at eleventh. Hmm, but. I don't know. Then don't rank him, but he's going to he's going to be on the ballot and I usually I don't like ex- abstaining from people. But this is like gun to my head, Mewtwo King at 19th. That's more fair god. So what the what? Let me pull up let me pull up my ballot real quick. No, I don't want to pull up whatever that is. Yeah, let me pull up the the question that is on the ballot. Save as untitled. That's not how you pay play title. Oh, there it is. Ballot. Let him get 16th. Let's see. Based on quality and quantity of results in 2018, rate each player on a set. Blah, blah, blah. If a tournament is held every weekend during the ranking period, and all players on the list are able to attend every event of the course of the season, who performs the best? Okay. Yeah, Frog Grenade. Yeah, that's, that's for the, the Pro Guides channel. That's the, a video about 
Hell, essentially, I, I talk about how Pichu really, even after the nerfs, nerfs was still really good. It's just all the people who played him either weren't competing or just took time away from them. Like, Arfang got, like, one of his best results of the years right after the Pichu nerfs. But, uh, going back. Mewtwo King of Mogi. Okay. Yeah, dude, Arfang was just like, yo, you think I'm a joke pick? Let me get top eight at Big House, no question. His only good result of the year. Yeah, I do I do uh ultimate content for pro guides. Yeah, he he pro Arfang's losses were I like kind of I kind of don't have like you can see, let me pull up my ballot. Yeah, I don't know enough. Yeah, if that's Hmm. Because if that's the qualification for abstaining, I don't think that's that's true at all about Mewtwo King. But also for y'all who didn't know what I th I believe, yeah, this is the summer bout. If y'all had ever had any question about what the what the bouts like under the hood, what the bouts look like, it's just this. I usually copy everything over and do it in Excel instead, but this is like what the bouts look like, and they also send you to like a like the Google the data results. Uh, man, I miss when Hugs was good. Yeah, but, 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 but back. Circling back to Mewtwo King. Okay, so. <sighs> Mewtwo King, so, like, what what are what are Mewtwo King's roadblocks from his results that we can see this year? Who could potentially stop Mewtwo King from going further in a tournament? Uh, let, let's try let's try to take attendance out of the equation for now. Um, who could who could be a potential Mewtwo King? Well, that we know Mewtwo King. Axe is definitely could be a Mewtwo King roadblock. Hmm, possibly top eight, yeah. I'm trying to, even though I, Triff, Ices. So, Triff, Triff, Ices, Fiction. And I think we can definitely expand those those couple of losses a little bit more and punish him a little bit more for them because of low attendance because we were doing the same kind of thing with Wizzy. So, Ices still definitely probably a problem. Yeah, let's go down the Mewtwo King's little spread. So, Ices definitely still very much a problem for Mewtwo King. That hasn't changed. Um... Look in the trip. It was a really close set, but again, we have to weigh that a whole, whole lot more that he did it. it that it's three events. Is the uh, the fiction loss not in here? Yeah, the fiction loss, the fiction nor the Zane loss aren't in here yet, um, which is weird. I guess Wheat's, Wheat's been busy. busy. Zane shouldn't ever be losing Mewtwo King. Yeah, I think that's fair. I think we can pretty, pretty well assume that like these guys. Pretty much everyone in this, I'd say, yeah, I'd say every one of the top eight, meetings almost certain, like, very much probably probably not going to beat any of them. Hbox is maybe, like, the slight I exception, but I don't think, I think I would have every one of these guys favored against Mewtwo King. Yeah, I th e even Hbox, I'd have all of those guys favored against Mewtwo King. Here's where it starts getting a little rough. The only active player... Maybe Zane is good. He's favored against Amsa? Mewtwo King versus Mango. Yeah, I'd say Mango's favored. And I, I'm I'm more willing to give Mango the benefit of the doubt. I'm more willing to give the guy who's been... Yeah, Amsa's definitely debatable. I, I agree with that. But I'm more willing to give the benefit of the doubt. Like, say if it, if it, like the swing was maybe 10, 10, 20 matchup points in either favor, I'm going to give the people who attended more tournaments way more benefit of the doubt than the guy who just showed up to three and is going to get ranked. Not that Mewtwo King is choosing to, but I'm I'm going to give all these guys much more of a benefit of the doubt, especially with how, like, for in Hungrybox's favor. Yeah, Hungrybox is the only one where there's, like, I think Hungrybox is the only player where we can be like, yeah, we know what Mewtwo King would look like with him across events. Which is weird. Yeah. So, so, who's who's a player... Would, could we say the same thing about IBDW? I think the same thing could be said about IBDW, S2J. For the most part, all these guys, I think the same the same thing could be said. So I, I feel a little less bad with now thinking of it in that kind of context, saying that Mewtwo King, um, King is favored versus Zayn and Leffen and Amza. That is, that is, I, I want to just time you out for that take. That is a boiling, boiling surface of the sun take. Um, yeah, but I think I think I, I feel a little less bad now thinking about it in that capacity that all of these guys also are not favored against like any of them. The same the same could not be said about S2J, that S2J isn't favored against all these guys. 
I don't think SDJ is favored. SD oh, SDJ is favored against Wizard Up. So maybe some of these guys have like one or two matchups within here that they're a little favored in. It's really, this whole Mewtaking ranking thing is a balancing act between like how much leeway are we going to give? And I think attendance is the big thing. I think depending on how, not like this guy attended X, this guy attended Y, so this guy's going to be ranked higher. I think it's like how it seeps into your argument because I think Mewtaking, there's like a reason, reasonable argument for him to be like around here maybe. And there's also, I think, reasonable arguments for him to be all the way up here. Yeah. Uh, Mewtaking apparently has a sub goal for GTX, so this could even be changed more in the future. Um, I think we're getting too bogged down on that that whole. You guys in chat, at least, are getting too bogged down on the whole Mutiking versus Zane thing. But I think even it, we're we're operating in a world where we're giving a lot more a lot more benefit of the doubt to these guys playing against them because Mutiking didn't attend things. I think we have to pick up from there and go. So he's down on Triff, um, up on IBDW. Mutiking at 8 to 10 is a safe bet. Hmm. Should, I don't think Mutiking should be higher than Plop. I don't think Mutiking is, should be higher than Plop. Uh, IBDW has, if we're, we're just comparing peaks, so Mutiking's peaks are wins over uh, Nun, HBox, and IBDW. IBW's peaks are wins over H Box, Leffen, Mango. Yeah, I think if we're even if we're going just by that, like IBW has like crazy better wins. I think them being spread out too really, really helps. And that's a benefit of going to more tournaments. But having wins against I, I still can't get over how good having wins against Hungry Box, Leffen, and Mango together is. That's really, really good. I need to use historical data with some of these fake matchups. I would generally, like, when we're talking in the situation of, like, the Wizzy Mango, Mango situation, I would, I say that, like, that, when we have just one outlier matchup, I think that's important. And, like, Wizrob, Wizrob hasn't attended a lot, but not nearly as little as Mutiking. I, I, I'm cool with leaning on that. But when we have, when Mutiking has, and, uh, again, like, Weed hasn't had the time to update all of this, when he has all these open, and he hasn't been attending much, and he's had, like, iffy performances... I'm I'm not going to give him the benefit of the doubt in these history matchups. Peak just by peaks, Mutiking should be around face roll. What's face roll's peaks? He has like an axe win. What else does he have besides an axe win? I think face roll face roll's like a good Yeah, where why can I not find Captain Face Roll? Am I stupid? Yes. Um I think he has better he has better peaks than face roll. Yeah, I think he, I think he's above face roll. like the opposite of mutating. Yeah, I think he's above face roll. I think this this is a good this is a good like low, and definitely not not above none. nuns. We still got to move nun based on this. Hmm. Just put him at ten, man. It's not. I'm not sure I want to put him over the uh, these guys. Face roll S two J fiction. Find someone, yeah, find someone I know. Yeah, so I think face roll, I know he'll be above. Yeah, let's actually, mediocre, that's really smart. Let's go, instead of finding the guy at the top, let's go from the bottom. Yeah, Curry, I actually, God, I'm so glad I kept this tweet up. Curry, uh, as word from Papa Practical Tass, he's there. Yeah. Best analog for muting peaks is S2J? What's S2J speaks off the top of my head? Wizra win. Zane win. Amza win? Yeah. Yeah, I think you might. I think that's actually a good. That's a probably the best analog we'll get. I think that that's a pretty good comparison point. So probably, but that makes me think like a little bit below S2J. Okay, so, okay. He's he's above face roll. Let's, let's go bottom top. Above face roll. Above ginger, probably. Let's just look at ginger one more time. Yeah, Ginger doesn't have that big top win. We know we know that he's not favored against any of these guys. Best win being a, a matchup that's really good for him, and then Spacey's matchup, and then yeah, if he consistency. Yeah, I think it, above Ginger is cool. Above Ginger is cool with me. Above Lucky, um, hot on Lucky because he has a Wizrobe and Mango win. Um, two Hbox wins better, even with Hbox better than a Wizrobe. Well, the Wizrobe win has become a lot less valuable too. Um, who do I expect go to go further in bracket? It's probably Mewtwo King. 
Like he does have some bad losses. Mewtwo King, yeah, Mewtwo King having has ba- I gotta keep this in mind too that Mewtwo King has bad losses for uh Mewtwo King has bad losses for Mewtwo King, but not like bad losses for Yeah. Well we kinda we kinda know, uh Curry, that he's somewhere he's somewhere in these he's somewhere amongst this kind of category, because I don't think he, he's high enough to be there. Um and I don't think he's low enough to be below them. Watch that Thorn video. I did not watch the Thorn video. I can. I apologize. I don't watch. Compare with Moki. Yeah, we're we're, mo- we're moving up. So I think he's probably he's probably better than Lucky. Moki Moki does seem like a probably a point where we're gonna stop at. Compares against Swedish. Swedish also not that active for the year. Axe win. Plup win. Um. That's a J win. So he doesn't have. Again, Axe win is a little less valuable than previously. I think. I think this is this is a round where I'm gonna feel comfortable putting him. Swedish oh Swedish beat Pluff Samus, so it's just an axe win. Maybe I just generally might have Swedish a little high. I think I might I think I might generally have Swedish a little high. I think I could very realistically switch those two. But that's that's like without looking at Mewtwo King Amza history? No. I'm good. <laughs> I'm not gonna change my opinion on where I'm gonna rank Mewtwo King based on how his history with Amza is. But uh, again, I, I sorry if that sounded like a little uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Mean. Switch none in Swedish right now. Yeah, I think I could maybe do that. Uh, none's definitely going up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna have to go through and redo these when the ballot comes around. This is just kind of like a fast and loose. Uh, let me also change this to post. Oh, I'll wait till it's done to change it. So. I feel like above Swedish. So yeah, we're we're gonna compare against Moki. Not yet. Yeah, Swift. Swift. This is still work in progress. This is we're still continuing on editing it. We're starting with Mewtwo King, going from there. The only thing has changed is where we need to rank Mewtwo King. Yeah, this is what we're starting Mewtwo King, going from there. And that's the that's the thing I think I still need to find some way to integrate into my uh, overlay is like saying about what we're working on. Some players in bold. The players in bold are the people who competed this weekend. So these are the players we're gonna have to work on moving around. So the players in bold who were the ones who showed up to DreamHack, EGLX, etc. Okay, so uh, let's talk about Moki versus Mute King. How's Moki's year been? What did, what did Moki do this weekend? So based on my perception of Moki before this weekend, he was sitting at 13th. Where would, if we're using Moki as a comparison point, well, he, this is after his loss at the Big House. Let's, let's look at how Moki did this weekend. Lost to Wizrobe Mango. I don't think losing the Wizrobe and Mango is a bad weekend. This is, guys, this is another classic placement. So, yeah, look. Noel got 7th losing the Dope and Sunsei. Moki got 7th losing the Wizzy and Mango. That is, this is, this is another great example why my placements don't matter. They got the same place, but Moki got beat by two exceptionally better players. Not saying that Dope or Sunsei are, especially not Sunsei is a bad player, but those are those are the exact same placing results with two very very different roads to get there. He really didn't pick up any good wins. One X, uh, I remember uh, Kirby Kaze was in the chat for one of the preview shows, and he was saying that he was a little concerned about Moki versus One X. Um. Uh, so it's it's cool that he beat him and kind of alleviate his concerns for that. And I'm sad he Wizrobe washed him, but. That is a good question, Damo. Oh no, it's it, Zane's the winner for the thing. It's he's still not going, unfortunately. Um, I wonder if there's a set like that because if, for those who aren't aware, for DreamHack uh, Sunday afternoon, this set was still going even though the DreamHack set had been over for hours. They forgot to put in the results. Yeah, Moki did not lose to Sunsei. Moki lost to Mangeezy. Okay, so my going back, circling back. So my perception of Moki pretty much did not change from this weekend. He lost to two really good players. Yeah, Moki lost to two really good players. I wouldn't, he wouldn't have been expected to beat either of those. Even though Wizrobe was, has been struggling a little bit recently against Falcon, about against Foxes, like my perception of Moki doesn't change. But that being said, let's see how Moki compares to Mewtwo King's year. Excuse me. Um. So can you guys uh, remind me off the top of my head uh, what are the other bad losses that Moki has be outside of Morse code? Um. Well, besides the besides the ones that are in the top fifty sheet, because I, I just want to make sure I'm not forgetting any ones besides Morse code. But at the top, yeah. If, if you guys, I'm just gonna give you guys a second. If you know, uh, I can just look it up. If you don't, 
Uh, Moki. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Actually, I can just look at major top 32s. I can look at... Yikes. <laughs> Morse code. Morse code isn't yikes. Uh, where's my dude, Moak? There he is. Genesis. Triff Rishi. Rishi's not like a tremendously great loss. Not a bad loss. Lost the ginger. Not a bad loss. Chew that. Chew that. But uh, well, I'm, I'm talking about unranked losses, not players who should be unranked. Morse code had a quite good year, to be fair. Uh... Yeah, EGLX was super, super top heavy. Like DreamHack, if you were, if you have any sort of understanding of the European scene, and I to to an extent have an understanding of the European scene, I think DreamHack was the much more interesting event. Actually, I even think the Texas Invitational by like matchups they could change was an interesting event. But EGLX still was really cool to watch because mainly because like Muting was such a wild card. Like we had no idea what he was going to do. Um, yeah, what did Moki do at Summit? Uh, I can pull that back up. Moki, I remember the the ginger said he just got washed, beat none, lost to Axe, Hbox, Ginger, IBW. Yeah, that's like, that's not bad. Mm. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Ajax definitely had a good top six. Top six, it was actually for such a weird number to cut it off at. Uh, yeah, dude, Genesis is gonna be so sick. I'm so excited. I gotta wait till then to do another like pregame. Well, I guess if GTX, if people start showing up to GTX, they can start doing that. Uh, the different natures of tournaments were on Sunday. Yeah, we had three very distinctly different tournaments. Um, which is really cool. It was a cool weekend of Melee if you had the uh, capacity. It's only IBDW. Dude, I hope Mutigan goes to uh, GTX with IBDW and IBDW washes him. Cody needs to mess him up. Unshaven long hair ice. Hmm. Okay, I, I got a little off track for a second looking at Moki's year and trying to come up with the bad losses. So it seems like only Morse code. Um, I always get lost when I get on that page. Um, so win over Leffen and Plup are two HBox wins and an IBW win. Uh, well, yeah, you also... If we're, if we're comparing just these, just these. Is two HBox wins better than a Leffen win and a Plup win? Well, yeah, it's not just two HBox wins. It's even against HBox for the year. I think it's like slightly, slight not better. You, no. Even with HBox is better. Um, hmm. Let me think about it again. I don't want to immediately jump onto what chat sat as opposed to with the losses. Yeah, I'm. I'm just thinking without with the law. Oh, with his losses to Mute again. With his losses to HBox. Hmm. As fat loss as well. Is a, a wins over Leffen and Plop. Plop wins good, but not as good as it used to be. Leffen win is really, really good, especially because Leffen is like the second best in the world. I think I think he's pretty much a lock. I think one and two are pretty much a lock for me. Like Hbox Leffen seems like that's not going to change, especially because both of them aren't attending more. I think I think they're going to stay one two for me. I think most people are going to have them one two. Uh, obviously Leffen being number one and Hbox being number two, of course. Um, what is that buzzing noise? Where's it coming from? Hope that's outside. Um, yeah, everything beyond the top two in the top six is really a little, little wacky. Um, but hmm. And Moki, Moki does it because again, we can't think of this in a bubble. Moki has so many more good wins outside of that. So I think Moki's peaks are a little better. Moki, well, well, Moki's Moki's wins are better. Mutating's peaks are definitely. Like, tournament performance-wise. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. But M Moki's wins are better. Um, Moki's losses. Josh, you don't have to do that every time I bring up Blazix. Um, do you lost the absent page? I, I have a feeling that Mewtwo King might be, like, right here below Moki. I think that might be where I feel comfortable putting him. I think that, that might be, like, right around there. Lo Moki did lose the Morse code. Yeah, I, I think that's probably where I'm going to end up putting Mewtwo King because absent page, yeah. Yeah, Mewtwo King's definitely above Swedish. And I, I was saying as I looked at Swedish's results before, I think Swedish might go down a little bit more for me, move Swedish down. I don't want to, I don't want to like reflexly do that, especially because put him at 12th. Yeah. But I think Jason, Jason for me feels, well, as far well, 
I, ben, I'm going off the assumption that I was, yeah, dude, SFATS had a really good year. I'm not going to, because I, I spent like all this time when I did my ranking before. I, I kind of op- want to operate under the assumption that my I was correct of putting uh, SFAT over Moki. Uh, up until like, I, obviously I'm going to redo all this for the end of the year ranking. But yeah, SFAT's got Axe win, two wins over Plup, win over Amsa, almost even with S2J, 2-4 with IBW. Donnie DP3, thank you for the follow. Yeah, guys, you may not you may not expect it. S fat's pretty good. Relatively consistent. He has like the loss of the bimbo and spud in there. Chewed at like but S fat's good, man. S fat's real good. Yeah, I, I definitely was that's what I was just about to do, Amber. I would yeah, I would hundred percent bet on S fat over Mute King in the moment. Cause you guys gotta remember too, for Mute King getting seconds really good. Again, another it every time my my whole passion or for uh, placements not mattering bleeds into everything. Muti Kings. So let's let's compare let's compare like nuns run that or we can do this. Well, I guess it's also a top heavy event because everyone's run really wasn't that impressive. Like to get into top sixteen, uh, because Axe dropped out. We'd had a totally different tournament if Axe was competing, but he had to beat Mateo was the best player he had to beat, and he he was he was moments away from losing the jam run again i'm like not going to count that too much that's more for predicting his events muti king's best three runs as fats mm. yeah axe dropping was if axe didn't i don't think muti king did second if axe drops i think yeah there's so many so many close calls you can see the rust so much in muti king's run there's so many close calls like, I think if Muti King, Muti King might have just won this tournament if he wasn't as rusty. He was so close to beating H-Box. But again, on the flip side, it's so weird that the same person that was, like, moments away from beating H-Box also was, if Jam Run didn't pick that stitch, like, could have lost the Jam Run. But let me go back and do what Amber said. Yeah, so Muti King, I think red's a good color. You're right for the wild card nature of him. Muti King, oh, maybe I'll do, like, an orange. The red's so harsh. There we go. Orange. Yeah. Mutiking Mute Shadow Realmed himself hard. Yeah, dude. Well, once you once you lose that, and Mutiking, it doesn't seem like he has the best. Um, yeah, it could have definitely been top 10 if we want. Um, Mutiking really doesn't have the best. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Mindset? Also, hot peppers are sick. All right. Oh, if, yeah. If Mutiking was up 3 0 in HBox for the year, nuts. Yeah, it, it's going to be real. I'm really excited to see. Yeah, Mute King does see Finicky on attendance. It does seem a little, little, hmm. I'm not going to come at, like, it's a weird conversation to have because mental health is, like, later within that with the way he tweeted about it. But making every tournament he goes to a sub goal seems a little, seems a little, little, little. I don't know what the word I'm looking for. Because I don't know if you saw the tweet. Um, yeah, minimal evasion. I suffer from extreme depression. This person, like, it. This, this, this whole. I don't know how to approach talking about this, so I'm not really gonna talk about this tweet. But like, making a sub goal every tournament, it just it it, it rubs me the wrong way. Because especially as someone who also suffers from like mental health stuff and depression and stuff like that. Just making making it be like, hey, if you don't pay me, I'm not gonna go to tournaments, kind of thing. Just feel feels a little achy. But again, like it's a very nuanced and weird discussion. Again, like coming from the perspective of someone else who also suffers from those kind of things, even with that, it just feels kind of icky. But yeah, I'm not gonna. We're not gonna. I I just wanted this like kind of touch on that, but not really go too in depth on it because I don't know how how to really go about that conversation. It just feels, it feels like he's kind of like, uh, blackmailing's not the word. Like, yeah. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to move away from that discussion. Cause I, I still, I would need, I think I would need to like do some prep time and do a lot of thinking on how everyone is talking. Yeah. Mew Digging's right here. And he has like this above Swedish blow Moki. Yeah. But Swedish is going to be moved. I think the next person we definitely, I definitely want to move is none. Yeah. 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 Yeah, no, cabbages, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, but it's a it's a whole conversation. Nun fifteenth. Okay, well let's let's not let's not jump the nun real quick. Let's let's slowly ease into this. 
because we still have to remember none had a rough first half of the year. <laughs> none of her muted king. Okay, so where where are we starting on this this road up? None versus Ginger. Uh, none has a mango. Yeah, none none jumps Ginger just for peaks wise because they both have some inconsistencies littered in here. Um, none jumps Ginger, no question for me. Um, uh, none and Lucky, dude. Now they both have mango wins. Now they both have mango wins. No wait. Oh yeah, I was like, where's did, did, uh, oh, geez, excuse me. Did the Mango Wins not get in there? Where's my boy Lucky? Lucky also kind of, I think Nun and Lucky actually are a really good comparison point because they had very similar, oh, and they also have very similar wins as well. Nun and Lucky, yeah, Nun and Lucky should be, like, moving together. Where's Bobby Big Balls for the, I'm still not sure exactly where Robert's going to be. How good is a Mango Win nowadays? Mango Win is incredible. Mango has, like, sleeper really good consistency. Both got Mango wins around the same time. Mm. Uh, what happened? Doesn't the character already make a difference? What do you mean in uh, Spirit Hide? In what sort of context are you saying the character makes a difference? Like my beard? Thank you. I appreciate it. I've been late too lazy to shave, but I think I'm going to keep it for the winter months so I stay warm. Um, yeah, so Lucky versus None is a very interesting point. And I, I think, like, I, honestly, I could see these two moving together. Lucky's loss is, like, it's like Albert. Yeah. Yeah, None, even for having a bad early part of the year, is still really good. None's worst loss is Mutiging. Ryan Ford, I, it looks like, is his worst loss. He did w come back and win that second set. It's important to keep context. Lucky is a... Yeah, I think none's above Lucky, but I think those two are those two are definitely around each other a lot, especially because the, they're a similar win level. And I think I think I'm I'm gonna be doing this, so I'm going to put none. Actually, it might be easier if I just I'm gonna do this. A one, a two, a th three. I'm gonna do this. There we go. What about Lucky's Wizzy win? Yeah, well, they both none and Lucky have a Wizzy have both have a. Oh, am I dumb? No, I'm not dumb. Yeah, both have a Wizzy win and a uh, Mega win, which makes it like really convenient. Oh, Plum Bombs is a whole conversation that we had a couple weeks ago. I think I land on this land this way. Because Plum, uh, I think um, the big thing that carries Amsa is the uh, the winning record against Hbox. How none do a big house? I cannot tell you off the top of my head. Was none at the big house? Am I stupid? Again, like the following melee requires requires the memory of sixty elephants. Sixty elephants who all have internet access. I don't think he was. Oh, he was. I'm dumb. He lost the far. Oh, he did lose the forest, and that was recently. Hmm. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're totally right. Beat Frenzy, Ginger, dude, ran the Falco gauntlet, almost lost to Two Saint. Yeah, no, but uh, Lucky Lucky has some bad losses too. Uh, well, yeah, oh, too. I think these two, I, because this, I'm, hmm, hmm. What are Lucky's worst losses? Oh, yeah, let's take the, the major tournament drones. Um, Lucky lost to Dark Atma Keizu, yeah. There's elephants in my brain. Lost to Jake and Shaken. Dark Hot Magat Kalamazoo. Like, that's, that's like, comparable to a forest loss. Mr. F loss. Yeah, Lucky has a lot of bad losses, guys. Who would have thunk it? Shroom loss isn't the greatest thing in the world. Oh, I thought, I thought for a second it said he lost to Blendtec. <laughs> I was very, like, I, I didn't know Blendtec was still competing, baby. Well, at the big house, he lost to no one, but recency bias, though. Well, this isn't seeding. This is, like, ranking for the year. No recency bias cappuccino frappuccino. Oh, I, my cabbage, I love how you're using the save, the save emote as, like, the, 
as this is save as untitled like save as untitled has 60 internet elephants in his brain i love i love that recent use that's that's some adaptation that i really like that's a mid-set mid-set adaptation right there mm -hmm. So I'm definitely, uh, definitely an, uh, a thing. Obviously, this section of the bracket is something we're section of the ranking is something we're going to look at as we go later into the event. And I also said Moki pretty much played as expected this tournament, so I'm going to unbold him. Reason for left at number two, we did that like weeks ago. <laughs> yes, it's easier to type. Adapting? Oh, not adapting. <laughs> uh, there's the the lore. Okay, uh, so Esther J. So I, I think S2J had a bad weekend at DreamHack. We're going to cover all the people who are here. And we can do, like, a big DreamHack discussion, too. Um, perception. Oh, wait. Ooh, cool. Yeah. So beating Triff's, beating Triff's really cool. Pro well, actually, hmm. Over Triforce loss is just a big feels bad, man. Beating Mint, beating Case. I forget Case. If, if Oh, yeah, Case is the Sheik. So lost the Case. Beat Case is Sheik, lost to Over Sheik. Has a loss to Nut, yeah. But picking up wins over Ice and Triff uh, and Mint, pretty good. Well, I, more like Ice and Triff than Mint and Case wins are pretty good just for European player wins. Uh, losing the over is a little feels bad. Losing the Prof, we still don't really have a good perception of Prof. Prof's probably going to be ranked, um, but we don't have a good perception. Kesa? God, I'm so stupid. I literally talked to Kesa before. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I actually said it wrong in the video after asking him how to pronounce it because I'm an absolute donkey. Uh, but, yeah, Prof should not be top 20 just off. Even if even if Prof does get ranked because I don't know his other results off the top of my head, uh, it's a really good tournament for him. But I, I think my perception of S2J goes down a tiny bit. Um, I think the more this tournament is, like, says, like, yeah, Europe's dope and gives us a better idea for that. But I don't think S2J... S2J still definitely stays in this tier and doesn't drop down into Fiction's category. Especially because he... Even though he took that bad loss over Triforce, he picked up a lot of good ones along the way. Keizu. Prof is in that 30 to 50 range? Yeah. Put Sechi there, yeah. Uh, let me... Let's continue. Let's let's finish up uh, EGLX first before I jump up with the Dream Hat because there's a whole... Yeah, I, the Sunday Invitational is probably what we're going to wrap up the show with. I'm probably going to finish up EGLX um, in the next, like, 10, 15 minutes or so. Sech oh, dude, Sechi's so good. Um, I'm going to finish up uh, all this uh, real quickly, and then we're going to... I'm going to run some ads, go get some more water, and then we're going to talk about DreamHack, and then we're going to talk about uh, Texas, and we're probably going to end the show. k za 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 God. My pronunciations are bad. <laughs> I'll just every time I talk about a player, I'll just spell out their name. I think that's better. Consistency in pronunciation. All right. So uh, who else do we have to talk about from this event? Hbox. So I mean, we obviously have to briefly discuss Hbox. H God. Very very scary in those sets against Mewtwo King, but against everyone after the Mango set, I I as soon as I saw the Mango set over, you can ask the guys who were in the the Discord server. I think maybe I posted after the Mango set, or maybe it was during the, after, like, game one or two of the Mewtwo King, first Mewtwo King, uh, second Mewtwo King set, where I was just, like, I, I pulled up my video about HBox being number one for the year, and I had, I had the, the retweet ready, because I was like, I know what's gonna happen here. As soon as HBox beat Mango, I had a real, I had a gut feeling that it was over. Right after, oh, it was right after, yeah, it was right after the Mango set then? <laughs> You guys have no bad power over me, but as soon as I saw him win that mango set, dude. And also, I think everyone, honestly, we need more live reacts in your Discord to tournament. Yeah, that was really fun for those who want to hang out. I mean, sometimes people do that over in the, the mail list at Discord server, but it's nice having like this smaller group, especially when I get to harass everyone. <laughs> Ads emote. Dude, oh yeah, uh, guys, I was going to say it at the top of the show, but it felt like sad news to break. Uh, I did not get into the partner program. Uh, but I can reapply on November 4th, which is, is a, definitely a feels bad, man, because I want to get you – because if we um, – as soon as the the partner thing goes through, whenever that happens, even though I – you pretty – the only thing that I'm really – I didn't get partnered, yeah. Yeah, but it's, it's real sad. Um, but because as soon as the partner thing goes through, you guys get, like, three more emotes, and there's, like, three more emote slots that I'm getting ready for. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's what I was going to say about that. Yeah, but I'm, I can reapply on November 4th, so I'm going to keep on reapplying when I get the chance, and hopefully they'll see, like... Because the, the ranking show 
does all that jazz. Oh, yeah, but, I mean, I'll still have these five emotes. I think it, because some people are saying that, and from, like, the use of, like, maybe, like, the save alley emote, I might swap that out with a different one. Because I have the new, uh, let me pull this up. We're doing, if we're on a little bit of a tangent, because I have over my Discord server, um, I just add it. Uh, and there, there's a whole thing for emote ideas. I just added this emote. Oh, yeah, this clutch box. I was going to maybe add this one <laughs> instead. That's the picture after none pulled off that combo. But yeah, if anyone has any suggestions, you can join the Discord server and add that. But it's it's like whatever. You can, still like Zanian drop a game. Yeah, yeah, DreamHack was nuts. And round it. Yeah, and I definitely think too, like if, if that one, if we don't have that, uh, add it too. We could always swap over to something else. But I want to, because I don't think I see most people using the save L because I think the save rage and the save L are kind of redundant. And maybe I could get rid of the save pog too. But I... Uh, can you just pull some strings with someone who works with Twitch? That's why I need the money match. That's my whole plan for money matching Blur. Well, I guess Blur doesn't work there anymore. Not save bug. Okay, we'll get rid of save it. Well, yeah. <laughs> save, save bug would be probably the ranking right now for the, the real ranking we need to do is the ranking of the saves untitled emotes. It's Armada, Big Gap, Save W, uh, Big Gap, and then Save Rage, Save Pog, and then Save L, I think is my rankings. Money match scar, yeah. Does anyone at Twitch who wants to money match me for a partnership? Let's do it. Really? Pog's lowest for you? Interesting. Well, we can. you guys can post your tier list when I go to get my water during the ads so you don't pay attention to the ads and you just post the emotes. Oh, wait, maybe that's why I get, I'm not going to get partnered because I'm so lackadaisical about talking about ads. But, yeah, let's talk about HBox again. Let's talk everyone's favorite topic. I was very concerned, and it is super, super concerning. Um, I cannot, once I get partnered, I think you can suggest to get your, your prefix change for emotes, but I can't do that. That's one of that's one of the partner things that I really want to do. Yeah, but you can't really, uh, you can't change the prefix, which really sucks. I wish they could just be save, because I don't think anyone already has that prefix. But, alas. Uh... Yeah. Oh, as I talked about. Okay. Uh, Hbox. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely still. I'm, I'm much more skeptical that Hbox wins against Mutant Game now. Now that we've seen four sets and these two, well, one Mutant Game won one of them, and this one was really, really close. Um. Yeah. It's it's just. Yeah. Um. It, and him sweeping Mango pretty convincingly and. Pretty convincingly beating everyone else and beating Wizrow pretty convincingly was is also reassuring to see. I'm glad we got to see this set. The nun set was gross too. But yeah, again, nothing changes my perception. H box, he was gonna get moved to this tournament. Uh the only thing that I really think we can glean from this tournament is that he Mutiking really there's something that Mutiking has against H box. I think I was thinking that um thinking about it, I think it's a lot that Mutiking is less feels doesn't feel as bad as other players for playing lame or just slow against H-Box. Like, he's willing to just, like, yeah, I'm going to camp you out. I'm going to wait. Like, we saw, I think the point I, that really kind of came to me, I think it was in the Nun set where uh, H-Box was just chilling down in the pit on the rock transformation. And he was like, yeah, come approach me. And uh, for a while, Nun didn't. Um, and then a nun, nun eventually came in and, like, got screwed over for it. Whereas in the Mutiking H-Box set, on the fire transformation, uh, Hbox was sitting below on like the left side below the tree. Um, and Mutiking was like pushing him a little bit. He was like doing wall jumps off the tree and like coming over and like shooting lasers and stuff like that. But he never full on approached till the transformation. Like Mutiking will wait for that and has the patience and does is unapologetic about playing lame. I mean, you can see that a lot in his playstyle, Royal Ledge Camp and like stuff like that. He's unapologetic about playing lame, whereas a lot of the other people like Leffen, Mango, uh, st uh, people like that are really aren't really willing to do that. And I mean, Ams is also another example of someone who's, who's willing to do that. He's willing to egg camp. He's willing to slow down the game to play against him. I think it's, that's really the, it looks like those kind of players are better at beating H-Box. Or that's my little, that's my little insight from watching the tournament. Yeah, it's essentially that Mutiking's more willing to play lame and is good at playing lame. Because if you could just play lame and beat H-Box, I feel like a lot more people would do it. But, uh, Muta King is good at playing lame. He's been doing it his entire life. Yeah, so what about Mango? 
Let's talk about Mangeezy. Losing to Nunn, breaking his 10-year streak, definitely, definitely hurts him. And losing the Hbox, what we expect, dropping game then uh, Moki, still happy they beat Moki, was able to sweep him. Yeah, because the lack lack of top level of sense. Yeah, who gets the first brain on Dreamline? Yeah. Don't think it drops Mango's rankings. Um, yeah, it, it's weird talking about these two. And I think I still think like I'm not super well, I'm I think I'm I think I'm willing to do after seeing even though he wasn't competing this weekend i think i'm very willing to do this oh, let me find a color that i don't have already yeah actually do i have like a silver silver would kind of make sense yeah yeah i think i'm i'm willing to do this i think leffen's like these guys these guys could definitely i my i keep on talking about how I'll, this area is interchangeable i think it's more just this area is interchangeable now like a lot of I'll, i could i could definitely see arguments and that's why i want to keep this i wish i could have a more because i think this is this area is less arguable and this area uh, yeah this area is a much less arguable than this one this one you could sort these guys in like so many different ways that i think make a lot of sense yeah it's it's really really weird for all of these guys um and my my perception of saying we can we're gonna go into a, a full dream hack discussion later um but my nothing changes my perception of zane he didn't drop a game but he, he essentially beat everyone he should have him beating sechi maybe is a little little good for me because i i was i'm always i'm a little iffy about him versus falcon but Dude, he he had he had spaces. He had a ton of spaces and and six. Mm. Wizzy's pretty reliably six right now. Yeah, Wiz Wizrobe uh losing to none, uh big feels bad man and lowering his record against H box is another feels bad man because his H box record is one that's really 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 carrying him. Whatever Moki's nice. I think it, it makes me feel a little bit better that he's he's cleaned up. Went over Sunsei, clean wins over Sunsei and Moki. Um, really makes me feel feel a whole lot better about uh, Wizrobe versus Fox. But losing the Nun, pretty icky. Yeah, I think I think Wizrobe's still probably my six. I think my my order doesn't change at all. But again, I still Wizzy definitely does have a Ditto problem. Um, I'm less concerned about his fox problem. I'm, I mean, I'm still concerned about him versus foxes that aren't laughing. But a little, the, it's just been alleviated. But I still think this area, this area could be definitely swapped around. Um, but I think my, based on, a lot of this is me being like, basing on my adjustments based on where I perceive them to be before and how my perception of them has changed. And I really don't think my perception has changed radically enough to swap these. Like they did, the gaps that definitely got closer and further away. Um, yeah, Zane's consistency is insane. That's why I have Zane so high. Like Zane is absolutely well. Zane is absolutely incredible at being consistent and beating everyone, except people within the top like six, seven. Like in this area, absolutely icky looking records. Outside, oh yeah, and like up to there to an extent. But outside that, incredible. Like those are fox sets, uh, lot the lot losses at a local. I think all the June bug losses are either fox or at a local. Like yeah, one one ice can yeah axe. Axe is um, uh, that's that's more. Uh, I think I have axe lower than a lot of people because I'm very iffy about the icy stuff and like him having a lot of bad losses. And he even lost to meds and napkins, Kappa. No, like even without the ne neb uh, napkins and uh. Meds losses. He's got losses to Pudgy Panda and Army and Bananas and Chudat and Face Roll and Swedish. Is Swedish the other sheik he has a loss to? Just in all, Axe has a lot of losses, and I'm more willing to give the consistency for Zane over uh, all these bad losses for Axe, even though Axe definitely has a lot better peaks and a lot better head to heads at the at the top. Yeah average placement if there's something i hate more than uh placement it's average placement oh also shout out blast for getting that three month sub hitting you with that red save thing i think a couple of you guys now have that now josh was the only one who had it for a bit i forget who else is the there's one more person i think it was the red which is super super dope never oh shit i never changed it to black you're right i'm dumb 
Josh, hit me with that fresh DM when the show ends. Do you? I thought there was someone else who said it was a couple more days. Maybe it wasn't like cyan. Yeah. Oh no 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 no! They're really the police are very unhappy about my rankings. Uh, ranking prompt only include uh in, in, and prompt include a tournament with the belt players in the belt. What do you mean by that, Curry? Yeah, no, if they lose to someone who's not on the ballot, that, that set still counts. Like, if Pudgy, Pudgy Pan is probably not going to be in the ballot, but that set still, like, is important to keep in, in mind. Couldn't disagree anymore with Mango versus, over Zane? Yeah. Uh, why is Mewtwo King so low? Because, you know, well, actually, we spent the first, like, 40 minutes. It would be disingenuous to give like a whole explanation that someone could probably give a shorter one and also for triff i mean we're gonna go in the dream act discussion but i just want to unbold him because i think we're pretty much done for adjusting rankings for today yeah peep the vods yeah because i don't want to i don't want to sugarcoat it or put it into a tiny little thing but yeah triff triff only has his perception has gone down after this tournament he lost to sechi again big feels bad man but with that, that wrap up of like the first kind of quarter, first, actually third, I, or maybe, I don't know. I don't have to spend more time talking about the fraction of this thing. Uh, could you show you? I'm so confused. Uh, but what I was saying is that we've pretty, I think we've wrapped up our discussion of EGLX for today. So that means that we are going to one for all you, you ads fans in the chat. I'm going to run some ads. Show the prompt. Uh, yeah, I can show it real, real quick. Before I go to run some ads, yeah, here's the prompt. Over the course of the, uh, a tournament is held every weekend during the ranking period, and all players in the list may attend the event. Over the course of the season, who performs best? You may give the benefit of the doubt to players who attended more events during the ranking period if you so choose. Yeah, that is the prompt. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, so I am going to run some ads and get some more water real quick. Uh, yeah, so when we, and when we come back from this first commercial break of the Saves Untitled Lifestyle, we are going to talk about Zane's crazy run in DreamHack. Uh, yeah, so I will be back in like a minute and a half. I'll run it, uh, two hour, two minutes, minute and a half. I'll run the two minutes. See, I'll take a little bit more time this time. All right, be right back, boys. Oh, look at that. That's exact, exactly perfect timing. Emote idea? Oh, what is... I'm going to put that link in. Five ads? Oh, yeah, guys. I gave you... I tried... Because uh, usually when I go to fill up my water in the middle of the stream, a minute 30... So I found out a minute 30 is a perfect... is enough time to go to the bathroom and get water from the sink. What is this? Oh, are these... Oh, are those all uh, Saves Untitled? Which one am I call? They're all anagrams of Saves Untitled? You only have one ad? Yeah. Oh, water. Wooter. Uh, a minute 30 is a perfect enough time to get water from the sink and come back. Uh, two minutes, if if I like to splurge. Exist out of Twitch, no ads? Yeah, no. It, it's, it, for the two-minute ads, I'm able to go, oh, wow. We lost like 10 viewers from... Well, I guess me going away from my computer and running ads will probably get that... Um, have to make that happen. Um... Oh, also let me finish my... I'm hungry. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So I can get water. I'm from Philadelphia. It's my accent. Um, hmm. Oh, clutch boxy mode. Uh, probably tonight after the stream, I'll swap it out with the save uh, L. Um... Oh, sorry. I should have eating this more earlier. Damn, I'm hungry. And not trying to chew into the stream. I'm very hungry. Oh, the point I was saying about two minutes of ad versus a minute 30 of ads is that I get the chance to fill up my water from the Brita instead of the sink, which is a big W for me. Also, I get to run more ads, but it looks like, yeah, because every time I can consistently get back here in a minute 30 that way, but it looks like the two minute meta may be it. May be it indeed. Hm. Yeah, see, happy game. No problem. Thank you for coming through. Appreciate it. So let's get back to 
talking about DreamHack. Actually, it's probably easier to look at the tournament from, well, uh, actually, why don't I just pull up both? It's not like there's, there's a, I can only have so many tabs open. Um, yeah, yeah, let me send this one back. Um, so yeah, if you, if you didn't know what happened in DreamHack, uh, oh yeah, Triff definitely has a Falcon problem. Yeah, if you don't know what happened in DreamHack, Zane decimated a bunch of spaces and six coming through Winterside. SJ, who was supposed to meet him there, surprisingly, uh, had a little bit of off torment. Uh, also shout outs to me being a goddamn god, um, uh, and knowing that Case was going to beat Nebby, uh, because it's, it's Sheik Yoshi. Sheik Yoshi and Nebby switching over to the box. What did Nebby do in loser side? Lost the six? Damn. That was a ten quid ten quid she was such a sick tag. Um yeah, six went on six went on like a surprising surprisingly really good run. So is that yeah, that's where he dropped on the losers after losing the Zane. Then he beat Nebby, which is a good win. Beat Nikki, which is a really, really, really good win. Uh Nikki said he was playing a little bit off this weekend, and I think it went to like last hit. It was really, really close. Um oh Curry, I had no idea. What did you say? Based on the prompt, it's pretty important to identify character diversity of the belt before finding your player. I've I've no like if characters are less are there less on the ballot, then they should be punished less for that. Like if someone's bad against Pikachu or something. I'm really confused about the point you're making. I'm really, really confused about what the point you're making is there. Uh yeah, about it yeah, character diversity. I think that's kind of indirectly involved with the way I do rankings. I'm really, I in, in with the way I do ranking, like if someone had, if say if we say Nikki had a link problem from his one loss against six, like I, that's a bad loss, but I don't think I'm going to, that's going to matter too much in his progression in normal tournaments. But I think having an Icy's problem is something for concern, especially, well, unless we live in, move into an era. Well, I mean, you could still have an Icy's problem, even if we move into an era without wobbling. Um, but I, I, so I guess kind of to an extent that matters the, the, how much we see that character, but I think it's, it's really a, do we see that character or we don't see that character kind of thing? Like maybe so like how we're not going to punish hugs for having like a doc problem. Like I think around that doc Samus Luigi maybe might be where that cutoff is. That's an, in an interesting question. If you frame it like that, what is, what's the character that we can go? Go watch Hot Ones. Dude, put get HBox to get me on that show. Oh, wash him no problem with Hot Sauce. I'd love to be on Hot Ones. Have him roast me up. I'll fly down to wherever he wants me to be. Get Liquid to pay me. Start the... Yeah, guys. Yeah, guys. Start the campaign. We got to start getting that campaign going to get eight, Save His Untitled on Hot Ones. It is, inter it is interesting to see, think about. But yeah, it's probably that cutoff point. Let me look at a melee tier list so I'm not dumb. Melee tier... Not for the fact of these are the players that are good, just to know characters where it'd be cut off. Hmm. It's just like how much people play. Oh yeah, let's go off the first tier list. Um, yeah, I'd say say the cutoff is somewhere is probably like here. Probably having a Falcon problem, Falcon problem, and anyone up. Um, why? If you want, if you want a good, what would be good interview questions for me? You can watch JD JD's interview. If y'all haven't listened to that podcast yet, he asked me a lot of really really good stuff. He asked me about like my music career too, and like graduating from college. Like JD, well, I mean, I know JD is like a patron, and he's like watches all of my a lot of my stuff. Like so, obviously, he made a good question. Yeah, but I think it, a lot of good questions. But yeah, there's there's some questions to ask me. Then we can talk about melee. We can talk about me getting melee death threats and all that jazz. Yeah, but I think like probably Falcon and above is around that MK Leo versus Save. Yeah, and I, I don't think that we can. No one can definitely say if someone has an axe problem. Um, yeah, and also that is that is a big jump off from MK Leo to Save. Uh, but yeah, you start that campaign to get me on hot ones. Uh, yeah, yeah, but I think that's, if we're, if we're thinking about the ballot like that. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but I think that that's an interesting question to think about. But let's circle back to Dream Hack. Yeah, I'm not. I'm just using the tier list chart to remember what characters are in the game and what are good. I'm not saying that's the order of the goodness goodness of characters. How good characters are today. I just wanted a reference point to make sure I wasn't forgetting any characters. Um, yeah. So, uh, let's actually just go through and talk about who is a good tournament for Zane. Perception really doesn't change. Zane beats Spaces. It's good to see that he beat uh, Falcon. Prof. I really had negative or non-existent perception of him for this year. Do I follow Prof? Cool, I do follow Prof. Um, um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, so definitely going really up. This is an incredible tournament for for Professor Pro. Yeah, yep, be oh god, win against this European Falcon whose name I always pronounce incorrectly. Omsa wins pretty good. Uh, again, Omsa is really a, like another old school player. We really don't have a great perception of where he is right now. Um. Frenzy win really good. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously he's expected to be frenzy. He's the num right y'all p jaw p. Uh, Link was eighteenth. What's pal six? What's Link and pal? Well, they they play NTSC. Most of Europe, I forget what. I think Nikki or someone said in the comments of the video of uh, what areas in Europe still use PAL, but I, most mostly Europe is Europe is mostly NTSC now. Um, yeah, oh, getting an STJ win, getting so beating all these good European players is good, and this is gonna come off sound like a diss against Europe, but it's not. Beating all these good European players is really good, but beating STJ, beating any one of these good US players is monumentally more valuable because. You you give even the balladers even but if you give an average melee player like a, 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 actually a below average okay we're, we'll we'll do it like this you give a Reddit melee fan the list of these players and what of these wins are good or actually even everyone no I don't wanna I don't wanna come at Reddit even though it deserves it all the time um I know how good an S2J wins win is. I don't know how good a Sechi win is. I don't know how good an Over win is, especially this year. I don't know how I don't know how good an Amsa win is th this year, or how good a Frenzy win is. I just don't really know how good these these European wins are. But I really do know that STJ is like a top fifty win. STJ was had high controller problems. Did not hear about that, but that is interesting to keep in mind if is the case. Um, and I I also kind of don't know how bad an a ice loss is, but I do do know that. Uh, a spacey losing to Zane is pretty bad, but uh, is not not pretty bad. It's pretty reasonable. So I think maybe the biggest winner at this event may be Prof, just because he really doesn't have anything much. And the biggest loser then is probably S2J. Six, thank you for the follow. I was just talking about how sick you are. Why are you screaming? Why are you screaming? I can hear you with the door closed. Okay, uh, six in the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On way out, just want to see you in shambles. Yeah. Well, I, we already took care of the Mewtika ranking, but the, the shambles not there. But it is really, really sick to see Six take a set off Nikki. I felt real bad. He tweeted after the loss, but deleted the tweet. So I'm, I'm thinking less that the controller is broken than if he deleted the tweet. Or maybe he just doesn't want to be that guy of John's. But SJ's, SJ's cool. And like again, I, like I was saying before, because we adjusted, we didn't really change his place in the ranking. Like, SJ, it's definitely a bad event for SJ, and it, it sucks that he lost that. But he really doesn't, that really doesn't change my perception of him at all. Um, yeah, who else can I talk about? Yeah, I, I, don't, I can't remember another instance of SJ Johnning, really. Um, who else at this event? Over, definitely a really good performance for Over. Um, now I think he's up 2-1 on Amsa for the year, which is definitely good for any sort of European rankings. I know they had the European ranking early in the year. I don't know if they're doing any more of that. Uh, but obviously the S2J win is a whole lot more valuable than that. Uh, where was, oh, was Over on the, uh, 2018 ranking? Over is 57. Yeah, yeah, over and over and profit around there. I think I could definitely see them in that sort of like 40 to 60 range. Link? Yeah, Six just jumped in the chat. You can add him if you want, if you want to talk about Link. Um, yeah, I think that's probably they're in... Dude, they're going to be higher than Ice. I think Prof and Over are almost certainly going to be definitely higher than Ice. What's Ice? What's Ice doing these days? Who did Ice lose to? Zayn S2J? Oh, that feels... That's a that's a feels bad man. Did he beat anyone? Beat Mint, beat Prof. Yeah, Ice was nice. Save versus Halbert. 
Mm. Ice was nice. Ice was nice, but we don't. Was Lavingi a dream act? I don't believe Lavingi. Lavingi's also a uh, Falco, right? God, oh no, I'm gonna, he's not gonna be, and I'm gonna feel like a jackass for getting European players wrong again and what characters they mean. Uh, Sick Falco, yeah, yeah, fucking clutch box. What is this the link to? Is this uh, the six Nikki set? I didn't get to see that live because I was dead past. asleep. Oh, it's Peach versus Ar Ken. Why, why are you linking, why are you linking Armada versus Ken? What's, what's going on here? Ken versus Why? <laughs> All right, man. I'm not gonna complain. Go Armada. <laughs> Some guy asked if they ever played. Okay, I didn't see that, but it just it just seems seems weird without that context. It's like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Why in this day and age are we talking about shart or shmada? Uh, oh no, we're not we're not talking about uh, Texas just yet. Um, yeah. I mean, uh, a lot of the European guys could probably, and I imagine they're all asleep now and or getting up for work, uh, could probably give you a better insight about how the interpersonal, not interpersonal, inner Europe uh, rankings are going to be affected by that. Sleeping? Yeah, dude, it's like, what is it over there now? If it's the same time, the tournament started at 11. There's six hours ahead, if I remember correctly. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, yeah, six hours ahead. So it would be like... Bah, bah, bah. Math. Oh God. Oh my my time math off the top of my head. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know, but it's gonna be early. It's like one one thirty there in the UK. Okay, so that's reasonable. Oh yeah, UK is like, so that means UK is four time zones out of mine. Yeah, so it's like late night, like early late night for you guys. Yeah. So if it's like in the Netherlands, it's like big late over there. Um. Yeah. So, but they can give you more than insight. But I think this this tournament's definitely good for overs bid for uh top 100 this year i still i still don't like because we also had a very quiet year like around the world for melee tournaments so i think maybe european players are going to get a bit more of leeway but i think it cannot be expressed enough how important like this s2j win is going to be um this sgj win for both prof and for over triforce for their their runs for the year that's like really really good because having having just that one or two ways to be like hey europe's really good and we have like these couple of sets to show you that europe is really good and this is about where we compare a ceo in amsterdam Ooh, maybe maybe i should go to that ceo that would be kind of cool I'd like to see Amsterdam. I just gotta go to the European tournaments. I, I, I once I get like good ish at melee, I'll just go on like a European tour of tournaments, like hit up like a bunch of locals in a bunch of different countries. That'd be so dope. But that's big dream and saves untitled. To say why is this close and trade? When... <laughs> Did I say that, Zuppy? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I I completely apologize. I gotta re I gotta remember that. I can't be a bully anymore. I I gotta remember I gotta remember that I could I should only I should only speak in save emotes when I go into chat. But I mean, good on you for keeping it clo so close to Wizzy. I do play Red Falco. You're right. I just want my heroin. <laughs> God, I hate I hate that that save does heroin is kind of a meme. There was too much hesitation there because I couldn't think of anything funny, but the hesitation makes it worse. Because, like, maybe save does heroin. Maybe it's just, like, crack cocaine or something. Like, whatever, man. But, again, Zuppy, I am, I do apologize. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, but that would be super dope if they're... Europe needs more tournaments, baby. Hey, Livingstone, how are you doing? Europe is so sick. Everyone who plays, like, all the European guys are super cool. Like, I said this a lot during all the DreamHack streams and the discussion about it previously. Like, I reached out to Nikki and Frenzy and Sechi, and, like, within an hour, they already got they got back to me. Yeah, Orange, we already did the meeting rankings. If you want to uh, check out either the VOD when I'm done streaming or over on YouTube tomorrow, um, we spent, like, the first, like, 40-ish minutes of the show talking about it and kind of going through a lot of these players in this category and this category, and, like, here, too, just comparing about where Muta King relates to them. So I don't want to, like, go over it and cover it again for that. Yeah, cool, cool Orange. Asunder Meyer, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it, my dude. Play Falco, never to sign a color. I, I think uh, we had this discussion a couple of days ago, but I think all the Falco colors are really dope. 
I, I actually, I've gotten in the habit of, like, switching back and forth. I, Livingstone, I, I don't know if you're there for discussion before, even though I still do play Red Falco, I might have come to the conclusion that I think Red Falco is the least aesthetically pleasing of them. Because all of them look really dope. I think people would probably say, Sammy, Sammy Stud 99, thank you for the follow. I think most people would probably say that it's, uh, just play Fox. What do you mean? Blue Falco, Blue Falco's really good, really. I, I, I think, like, aesthetically pleasing... It's hard to, like, rank them, though, because I think, like, the white's really good, the black's... Black black and red are probably the lowest. Or I guess that's green, if you're if we're going... If we're just doing it by... Well, I guess if we're doing it by jacket. I don't know. Green is the worst? Yeah, I, I think it's either green or red that's the worst. But white's clean. Default's clean. Are there any other colors? Green is sick. Yeah. Green is sick. Yeah, but green's cool. Can you do a ranking? I definitely want to do... Maybe that's for the November sub goals because I've got a couple sub goals in mind for November. Uh, two of my <laughs> names are my two faves. White and gray are both awesome. Yeah, it's also really interesting the way we talk about the colors of skins based on like what it we how some some are based on like the the pants or whatever. Like we call the Falco with the the black jacket green Falco, but we call red jacket Falco. Or is he? I'm having like a Bernstein Bears moment about the colors. What what's colored where on the uh, characters? Purple boots. It also uh, not as an easy conversation for me because I'm colorblind, so I have no idea. Like it's really it's really horrible for me when I'm trying to figure out. Like, I can't tell. I know one of these is red. I think this is green, but these two, the red, the red and the she green cheek, look exact like pretty much exactly the same to me. Like, I think this is the red one, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, let me see. If, where are the Falcos? Yeah, oh, there's only four. But yeah, all the all the Falco alts are dope. Dope. Why is Fox red and blue when it's orange and purple? Yeah, dude, that it's super, super weird. Like, what, how we call the different colors. Like, yeah, because I always, I call this blue Fox, even though it's purple. But I, I have a little more past than you guys, because I legitimately think it looks blue to me. Like if someone tells me it's purple, I like I believe them. But I thought I legitimately think this is it looks blue to me. It's dark green because teams, yeah. Purple's not, yeah, dude. I, you tell me purple's not real. I believe you. I gotta rank Magic King now, Chip. I already did. More than the colorblind glasses? Nah, I have not. I mean, being colorblind is cool. Like it's not it doesn't get get in the way. Go to bank the ranking though. Okay, okay, yeah, we too much color talk. Um, yeah, way too much, way too much color talk. Legalized Congo Jungle. I was kind of on the road of you with that before, and I'll, I'll go back over to it because he's going to be ranked. A colorblind glasses sub goal. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, this this is the tweet that really sums it up for me. Uh, Rishi's response. Uh, that I also feel my rank will undervalue my actual ability, so they're going to increase my ranking by five. Because it kind of made me, like, put the light on in my head, realizing just, like, if anyone could just say they don't want to be ranked because they had, like, an iffy year or had some bad losses, they're just going to do that. And it feels weird to just be, like, let Mewtwo King be, like, yeah, I don't I don't want to be ranked because I had one bad tournament. I bet Mewtwo King would not be singing the same song if he didn't go to Genesis and he had just these two tournaments and everyone was going to rank him. Like, I, it just feels it feels, it feels a little unfair to everyone else. Because someone could be, like, a top 10 player. Like, Plop could just be like, yeah, I don't want to be ranked this year. I didn't play that great. Even though I don't think that's that's not something Plop would do. Mewtwo King attended three of tournaments and might be going to EGLX, too. Not EGLX. He t oh, he att left in attended six or seven, I believe. Wizzy is five or six. Yeah. Um. Yeah, let me switch that. Put that back over here. Yeah. Ooh, I'm at hey, Chad. How you doing? Uh, yeah, we're still we're on DreamHack discussion right now. Any more big tournaments? I believe the only thing that maybe has the potential to be kind of big, so there's like caveat, 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 is uh, bu -bu 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 um, uh, what am I? I'm having a stroke. GTX, GTX, but it's only IBDW right now, and um, Syndicate is big for melee. Oh yeah, and there's the M mom for. What you call tri-state stuff? Let me go over to the the calendar that actually matters. Yeah, GTX. GTX is coming up real soon. I think it's IBDW is the only big person signed up for GTX yet, if I remember correctly. I don't think the uh, what 
FTX. WW maybe yeah, are the attendees live? Yeah. Cabbages, aren't you the one who you're from that area? So I I mean it makes a lot of sense that you want people to go. Attendees. Yeah, let's see if there's any anyone else. Don't park. Uh don't park's canceled for the year. Uh, I forget what the exact reasoning behind Don't Park being canceled. Oh, Vincent. Vince is from uh, Philly or, like, used to compete in Philly. Ty's going to be there? Wait, what? Oh, I just, God. Ooh, why would I look at Smash Ultimate? Dude, I really hope Mewtwo King comes and IBW double eliminates him. That's what I want to see. In my heart of hearts. Yeah, this big... Uh, I wonder if they still have the big prize pool for it. It's going to be IBW, Ty, and Vince. Yeah, that's a, that's a real feels bad, man, my cabbages. Yeah, um, but there is, I don't know, actually, I'm not sure if I can talk about that. I don't know where that, that rumor came from or who told me that, so I don't think I can talk about that, but Sips Coffee. Um, what was I saying? I was too busy making sure I don't leak things. Um, yeah, but that's, as we know of right now, uh, GTX may be it. Hey, Leo Luster, how you doing? <laughs> Mr. Untitled. <laughs> Mr. Untitled is my father. Call me save. Um, yeah, and the M-Mom Memorial is going to be cool. I was def I was considering maybe uh, going up to the m the M-Mom, but it's the same weekend of like this big event at my college, so I think I'm going to, to the Knicks on that. But I have, I think there's like this Wednesday tournament in Maniunk in Philly that I'm going to be going to this week. And then there's a Saturday tournament on Temple's campus that I'm going to go into. So two, two locals this week, probably doing a bunch of like streaming, grinding melee, maybe do some net play tonight. Maybe do like one or two, uh, a couple of games of net play, play with some of you guys subs too, but we'll see. Move to a smaller venue. What Philly school do I go to? I used to go to LaSalle university, but I graduated, uh, in May. Yeah, I'm graduated from college. I can still go to college. Yeah, it's like a homecoming thing. I want to go hang out with the under under uh, undergrads. The Temple Tournament. Oh, wait. I think it's in my next 20 thing. Tournament. Gucci Gang. Yeah. I want to see how many people are signed up at the moment. I don't know about the Wednesday thing. I forget. The guy who actually runs the Wednesday thing is in here. Or what is in here sometimes. Oh, there's eight people signed up for it. What am I? Oh, three seed, baby. Three seed, baby. I think it's just randomized seeds, but three... Or actually, I think it might be in the order they signed up in, because I think I was the third person to sign up. Um, what makes Mewtwo King's Mesmeray worse than Moki's? Uh, he went to three tournaments. I, I, I Again, I don't want to rehash that argument and or give you like a dumb answer like that, but... Only top eight was uploaded? Yeah. It sucks for tournaments that don't upload the VODs. Um, what was I saying though? Higher seed than H box? No, H box was number one seed. <laughs> yeah, well, well seeding's a whole different question. When's that? Uh, that is it's Saturday. I can. Uh, I was I was about to open Facebook on my main stream, which is the absolute worst. I put that. Uh, come up and farm Philly, dude. I want to I want to farm Philly first. Uh, where's let me see if I can find a link to the event. Give me one second. Yeah, but I'm looking to attend a, a mess a ton of tournaments. Okay, here's here's the the link to the tournament. The, the Gucci Gang Bofa edition. Uh, yeah, well, I yeah, Lee Guy's coming up. Wait, yeah, we, we, I'm gonna, not going to... Yeah, yeah, I don't want to devolve into the Mewking discussion. We've been off the... Uh, Ba, 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 ba. We've been off the DreamHack discussion for a while. I don't know who else we can really talk about, though. Triff definitely losing the SJ. I'll go to No Jones if I had 90. You're making a sub goal for me? I mean, Josh, yeah, just <laughs> instead of gifting subs, just pay to go to No Jones. Because I'm, I'm definitely going to be a No Jones. That's like the the season one, the. Well, it, that'll be like the mid season finale of the Saves Untitled Road to Being Good at Melee. Um. Uh, not gonna gift any more subs, yeah. Triff's other loss, he lost to bah, 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 Sechi, and he lost to Esther J. So yeah, Triff's got a Falcon problem. If Peach does, yeah. Well, yeah, that's that's fair. That's a fair way to say. Give the scream on what you're ranking. Oh yeah, I can I can bring it over to the rankings for a second. Ice was also good, although the sets don't show it. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, yeah, it, it's hard. 
that's that's always like the European problem. Like there's so many good Europe play good. There's so many good players in Europe, and if you're just talking about this tournament, I mean, we also had fit fit the fit fit. Um, uh, it, there's only so many players in attendance. Like there's only four good wins that European players could pick up from U.S. players at this event. There you go, and I'll, I'll switch back over that. Hopefully you got time to read it. Um, yeah, there's only four good wins that could be picked up at the event, and Zane was like, nah, no one can have those. And S2J gave out his two wins. He did, he did like the gracious H-Box did to Mewtwo King and gave his blessing and chose to lose against Over and Prof. I don't know if Genesis says Wobbling Band, but yeah, th that's th this the plight of European not being enough European tournaments and very few U.S. players coming over to them, is that there are only so many wins that be gift can be gifted out. Much like the amount of subs that Josh can gift out, there's a, there's a hard limit on this. And at this event, there were four good wins up for grabs, and only two got claimed. No one can have a Zane game. Yeah, no one can. Yeah, Zane games are a very hot commodity in Europe. Yeah, it seems really cool. I think, though, if I was going to head over to Europe for a tournament, I want to go to, like, something as... I think serialize is the word I'm looking for as DreamHack. I would want to go to like a Fate or something like that. Southern, Inv I think we're we're kind of wrapping up. Unless there's anyone in particular you guys want me to talk about from this event, I think we're gonna jump over to the Southern Invitational. Valhalla, yeah, something like Valhalla or Fate or something like that would be what I want to attend. Which region is better, Europe or Mexico? Who does Mexico have? Europe has, especially if we're talking about like Europe. Europe has so many good players. And Europe is so, such a good depth of players. Like, and if, even if you're considering, yeah, it's like Eddie Mexico, and then there's like Leffen. Leffen could beat all of Mexico. Yeah, Leffen Armada, Blaya. Yeah, you're not really. Mexico really doesn't have high talent or depth of talent. Europe has like. Wait, well, let me let me look at the last European. Melee PR European Wax Center. Hello, that is not not what we need. Did Bimgo Bimbo got Javi? I don't know where Javi's from. Yeah, like off of names that I recognize. How far does it go down? Mejiz. Yeah. Oh, look at that that cursed area of the bracket. What? Oh yeah, Wilder was. I forgot. I didn't realize Wilder was from outside the country, but it makes sense. He was in like Philly for a while. I think I went to a tournament in Philly with Wilder there. Maybe I'm just remembering that. Yeah, like, there's so many good players here. The depth of talent is nuts in Europe. There's so many good players that are just like, if if these if so if these so like the players I think around like this level is probably a good like cutoff point. If these players were just dropped into US, I think most most like hardcore melee fans would know like all of these players very very well. If they're just like, huh, if if there was a uh, I can't think of a good analogy, but if they were just, like, picked up, dropped in the U.S. and grew up in the U.S. and played at the same level instead, you would know, everyone would know Dady, everyone would know Princeton, everyone would know Sechi, Pryson, Pryson. Everyone would know Nikki, everyone would know Frenzy, everyone would know Mint, everyone would know Lavingi. Like, if these were dropped, they're, they're, like, they're, like, around the, like, 80 to 150 range, give or take. Yeah. Europe is sick. I can't, I can't, where is six on it? Ah, uh, that's a good question. Maybe six was inactive. Looks like six might have been inactive or just didn't make the cut. Is he on the last one? Let's see if I can find six names here. Yeah, it's 20 on the 2018 one. Yeah, so it looks like he was probably just inactive. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it is. Wait, second highest player. What are you talking about? The second highest player is Samus. What do you mean, homie? Dady's down here. <laughs> oh, in and Sweden. Oh, I'm dumb. Don't, 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 don't look at me. Don't look at me. I'm stupid. Oh uh, yeah. Well, I think that's pretty much it. I only have good things to say. Well, I don't always only have good things to say about Europe. Um, Europe's really dope. Uh, there's a lot of really good players in Europe. Uh, it's a shame there, there's not going to be as many on the ballot this year, but that's, that's kind of how how it goes. I mean, maybe we'll get a little bit more Europe than we generally do because everyone was pretty inactive as a whole, generally. So, 
yeah, Europe's dope. Melee's dope. Dream Act was a cool event. Also, uh, if for those who didn't see it and you want some melee to watch, they they had the secret event. Well, they also had Rishi Jungle Jam. I don't know if the vods are online or I actually I think don't think the vods are over on YouTube yet. But they did. Oh, hey, Happy Gate, how you doing? They did an event where every character had could have Falco or Fox Shine. So we had there's some really cool clips of uh, Captain Falcon Fal with the uh, Falco Shine. Zayn surprisingly didn't win. Yes, yeah, so two people. Mint Mint beat Zayn, guys. Mint's going to make top 100, guys. It's just that easy. But yeah, if you want something else to watch... Oh yeah, my link was there. For those of you who don't know, someone said that I was Save State. Someone got me confused with Save State on the DreamHack broadcast and called it, like, Saves Untitled had a really good link. Yeah, guys, it's actually the real bracket. Everyone says Jungle Jam's the real bracket. It's Super Shine Bros, baby. All right, let's get out of here. So let's jump over. We flew from Canada over to uh, the Netherlands, and now we're coming back to the good old US of A for the last tournament we're going to talk about this week, which is the good, the bad, and the ma That's a <laughs> cool tournament idea. Not, not my favorite name for a tournament. But alas, we shall discuss it anyway. Um, Falcon has Falco shine. I think you could like choose between the two different shines, but yeah, it makes sense. Now we're talking Josh. Yeah. Oh yeah, the combination of the both was wobbling was legal, which is important to ask. Important to know. So it, it's it was a summit style for those who may not be familiar with. Um, and for those who want to take a look at the bracket, bracket is in chat. Um, it was a summit style tournament, which I said previously that I think it's really really cool that. This is becoming more popularized for regions. I think it's really good to show off that region's highlight. Not only show off a region's personality, but also highlight a region's, like, fringe players or give them a way to get um, wins. I think it's just, like, really cool in general. Uh, y excuse me. Oh, there's a preemptive excuse me, but... Excuse me. Um, uh, I think it's a really good way to highlight smaller regions and... Uh, New England did one recently. You might have saw my video talking about that. Texas has this one. I don't know if there's anyone else, if there's any more of these brewing. I can't wait for the Philly one. Guys, are you ready for the Philly Summit? For me to win the Philly Summit? That'd be dope if they organized that. Um, I mean, it'd get some big promotion because of me. Indiana? Yeah. I think it's really, really good for just regions. Regions, I think it's really good for the region itself and then for like letting people outside the region know. I didn't even hear about the Indiana one, but... I also wish they there was a little bit more promotion for this one. Because I think this is a lot more stacked with players people will recognize. Rick was waking up and walking. Oh, for Rick's set? All right. Bop, bop by a link. R.I.P. Mm. So let's talk about the results. Bananas winning. Bananas really... Um, let's take a look, actually. Bananas melee. How's he been in attendance-wise? Because I feel like he got a lot of good wins early in the year. I think the same thing. Well, I had less true for me. Mustard God, thank you for the follow. Um, that's a nice picture of Vanessa's. Um, really hasn't been to too much this year. Um, oh, wins over fiction. God, fiction just can't escape bananas. Uh, at an all-time high. Yeah, it, it felt like each uh viewership was really, really good for uh, Melee. But I mean, I'm not going to complain. Yeah. Oh, Free Palestine went Marth against him? That's interesting. Sweet D23, thank you for the follow. Um, yeah, but yeah, Bananas, and I, especially with the push the ban wobbling, is probably not good for Bananas in general, just kind of thing. Um, but it, it's 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 nice to see him perform again and get a win. I mean, obviously, he is the highest-ranked player at this event, so I imagine he was expected to win. What does it not show us? Oh, this, does this show us everything? Did he come out of pools and winners? Okay, no, this looks like it's only showing us bracket matches, which is weird. Um, yeah, so we can go through his whole thing. Sheik Ice is a terrible matchup. Yeah, makes sense. We can, oh, he's in pool two. So let's jump over the pool two. So, actually, let me, I feel like I'm being dumb. So did he just lose to Bananas? I just lost to Magi. Yeah, Magi. Okay, so no, that was right. Let me, let me 
whoop did he scoop back over there to the overall summary who would have thought smash dg is being weird how much does secretaries count for rankings oh man i hate that i hate that uh everything in my body okay no it doesn't look like it, it looks like because bananas did not just play one I don't know what's going on with Smash GG, but again, no surprise. Notepad file. Oh, yeah. I Sadly, I did not save that notepad file with all the good things about Smash GG, but we're going to... Jesus Christ, I hate Smash GG. <laughs> again, like, it's it's a necessary evil because my job would be a million times more difficult without the existence of Smash GG, but that does still not allow me, not allow me to hate the site with a burning passion. Um... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Um, wait, so this is gonna have the bracket up. Jesus, I'm I'm the aneurysm is coming. If it's not caused by, if it wasn't caused by ranking Mewtwo King, it's still gonna happen. So Banana's won every match in pools except his match the Magi. Um she she got that win, which is really, really dope. Oh, Smash Europe retweeted my stream tweet? That's sick. Uh do you agree? Wait, what? What is this? What is Mr. Heat talking to me about ranking Wizzy at number two last year? That seems like an odd discussion to be having now. Uh, but nonetheless, shout out to Smash Europe. I don't know who runs it. They followed me back after the, the EGLX stuff. Oh, shit. There's like three people who DM me about Europe stuff in EGLX. Uh, I need to get back to them. Uh, I just remember that. Yeah, but Bananas... After Magi is the only person he dropped a set to, Magi kept it almost close, got that second one. I think Magi maybe would have just won the event if she would have pulled the set off. Feels real bad, man. She, it looks like she had a lot of close sets. But Robert, Robert, the big loser's run here. Is Mewtwo King ranked? Yeah, Mewtwo King's at 14th. If you want a better explanation why he's there, uh, you can watch the VOD at the end of the show. We spent the first, like, 40 minutes talking about it. Um... Yeah, but this, I think, Banana is definitely a really good tournament for him. Not Nothing, like, super crazy. I'm a little concerned. I don't know how he generally has performed against Falcos this year. We can take a look at that. But, I mean, I imagine we're missing a couple of uh, Banana's losses because Ice Climber's player, you know. But, yeah, wow. I'm With these lack of sets here, I'm really surprised. Lost to Bimbo, yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe Banana's isn't the best against Falco. Lost to Squid, yeah. Nonetheless, uh, yeah, it looks like man, that's something I never really noticed, but I guess, excuse me, sorry, Jesus Christ, um, yeah, and something I really never noticed before. Maybe, maybe Bananas is a little iffy against Falco, and I mean, the only set he dropped the match, yeah. But, yeah, banana, uh, Bananas winning the event, not really a super surprise. Oh, yeah, actually, this was just like, this was just like. Big Falco territory. Albert, Magi, Bobby Big Balls. This this is big Falco energy here. Why didn't I watch this tournament? This is like a tournament made for me. My boy Bananas and a bunch of Falcos? Like, sign me up. Uh, Billy, oh, that's... Yeah, there's Actually, I, I'm really sad I didn't watch this tournament. There's a lot of really close sets here. It looks like it was super exciting. Um, yeah... Don't let me catch these. Oh, is that the Ohio's the real thing? Or the Midwest's the real thing? Is that your boy? Swooper was, it was a really good tournament. Oh, shout out to Swoop the God. Do I follow you, Swooper? If I don't, I should. Oh, I, I hate that you can't just follow someone for the little uh, link on them. Swoop God. Yeah, but yeah, it looks like a really, I don't know how much I, insight I can really get out of this tournament or like ranking wise. Um, it's nice that Magi, it, it's, it's nice that Magi picked up, oh yeah, Swooper, for the, it was, it was you at the big house, right? You, I, I think I was popping off super hard for your sets, like me and my roommate were just popping off super, super hard, let me just, yeah, yeah, for, for the seven sets, Super should be, Super's top ten, like, I was, I was, like, literally screaming, <laughs> Well, I wasn't. Uh, my my roommate who plays Samus was popping off super, super hard. But yeah, I, I don't know if there's really much I can glean from um, glean from this tournament because of my lack of knowledge about the interplay between Texas and greater lower South, South U.S. players. That would be like Southeast, Southwest. 
U.S. players who all popped off at the venue. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, hope, I hopefully hopefully you do it, Swoop. I want to believe. Not, yeah, obviously not for top 10. Swooper can still make top 10 by the end of the year, and here's hell. Um, yeah, but I don't really think there's much else. Do you guys have anything, or those of you who have more insight into Texas have anything to say? I think this tournament's really good for Bobby, for Robert, sorry. Um, Robert is just, he's just missing those, those couple wins. I don't know what his best, actually, Liquipedia should be able to tell me, Bobby. Because Bobby attends so much, and it looks like he works so hard, but he just doesn't have the wins to show it. What's he got? Smucker's win, Dart, yeah, he's like... All these wins are like okay. Actually, do I have a rank zero right now? Uh, why don't I have a rank zero on this sheet? Let me do this real quick. Let me copy it over. When's the last ranking I would have had a rank zero? Oh, there we go. It is. It is about time that I add one. It's been too long. There we go. Cool. And I have to make sure I always frame it. No. Oh, oh God. I have to. Ah, oh, damn, I have, to, I have to settle for something. I guess I can unfreeze the top. Damn. I'll figure out on... We're not. We're done with the ranking for today. I'll figure out how to unfreeze it later. But I... RIP to E. For those who for those who don't know why I had E previously as my zero ranking, is because when we were doing the summer ballot, Jake and Shaken, when I copy and pasted the names in, his name just came up as E. So <laughs> we had E as the zero rank for a while. It was... I forget who it was before that. But yeah, I have a tradition of having someone, yeah. But it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a little weird for. I hope, I really do hope Bobby makes it. Bobby's like grinding so hard. He's, he's trying so hard out here. It was Fat Goku, Fat Goku before that, yeah. Yeah. Bobby, Bobby like has more, Bobby puts in more effort than a lot of people, uh, which is PR much probably yeah flex, yeah. Yeah, Bobby puts in a lot, so much effort. I really, I really hope the best for him. And I mean, he's he's a Falco boy and like semi-local, so I, I feel for him. Yeah, so I hope I hope he get he gets it. Hopefully, he has the results and all that jazz. And yeah, I'm just really hoping for Bobby out here pulling for my my Falco boy. But I think that's pretty much, pretty much it, guys. Hmm. So now. Bobby's MB, I believe so. He's. It seems there's always those clips of him at Xanadu, for better or for worse. Him at Xanadu, and I think that might do it for today for ranking discussion and for the official show. Um, I should actually. Uh, so I'm not sure if you. I want to do net play tonight. What do you? What do you guys feel? Are you feeling it? Calling in tonight? Do a little sub net play. Is it Xanadu pretty much every week? Yeah, that's why I'm like, he deserves. He deserves everything he gets. not your father mm -hmm. yeah so it looks like we might do some uh wait what is what did wheat tweet out or what did wheat post <laughs> god um cool nighty timeline where ringer friends curb yeah i don't actually what's what's curbs wins look like uh, i should it hopefully will be on liquipedia i'm at i don't know if someone is updating curbs wins all the time Ryan Ford, 42nd. Ryan Ford, that's... Uh, for I have a win on someone around that level, it sucks that it's Ryan Ford because Ryan Ford's going to take a big nosedive this year uh, because he didn't really attend anything. Dude, that's going to be close. A beard-growing stream? That'd just be like a stream of me sleeping, and I don't I don't think that's... I don't think that's good for the people. Wait, did he lose to, like, Scar Scar? He did. Back in 2013. Yeah, net player chill for a bit. Yeah, I think I'll do a little net play. Um... It'd be cool lime. Oh, the god cool lime. He's like top fifty, no question. Curb's the best player in the world. Yeah, I'll do. Cabbages. Yeah, Franz might need to be act. Isn't Franz like super super young too? Glitch Glitch Eight is not gonna have melee. That's a real feels bad man. When's the next big tournament at the Zenidu venue? Cause I'd love to come down for that. Hmm. Actually, that might that might be enough. Well, hu again, a hugs win isn't really great, yeah. But the fact that we that it's a, not the lowest possibility that we might have like Ringler, Curve, Franz all in the ranking. That's nuts. Also, do I follow him on Twitter? I do. Cool, cool, cool. 
yeah, I think I might, I think we're going to call it for the ranking show for tonight. I think I'm actually going to do a formal outro this time because I, I normally have to find where to cut these things off when I go over to post them on YouTube for the cut the VOD. Um, yeah, so this was the 16th episode of the ranking show. Thank you guys for coming through. Uh, thank you guys on the VOD. I'm still, I'm do, still doing that play after this. I'm just doing a, 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 an end for the VOD. Oh, yeah, Pan Underground, maybe I'll, I'll roll through for that. But thank you guys for rolling through, watching the VOD and watching the show, being here live. I do this every Monday night, and we might, we're, with the l lack of events we're running out of, uh, I'll still be doing 7 p.m. streams every Monday night. That's going to be, like, my normal uh, streaming day. So yeah, it might, it probably won't be the ranking show for the rest of the year unless there's, like, these big events or that secret event that I kind of hinted at that might be happening. I don't know the validity of that. But again, thank you for watching. Follow me over on Twitch. Join the Discord server if you're not already. That's to discuss when I'm doing streams, what's going on. Let me have any more new emotes. Keep you. It's it's basically if you want to make sure you don't miss any of the, the Saves Untitled updates or what's going on with me. Because a lot of stuff I don't want to like make a formal tweet about. Or like if we had a discussion during the tournament too. People we were memeing about Hbox winning. It's fun there. It's not the, the enormous Melee Stats server. It's a little more. It's for it's for the savers. It's for all the savers in chat. But again, Ivan saves untitled. See you. See you. In a, see you later this week. YouTube video probably coming on, but we'll see. We'll see. And yeah, that will cut that for the YouTube.